When starting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you'll find that unlike previous iterations, only the original 8 characters are unlocked, and you can also create Mii Fighters. As for the rest of Ultimate's roster, you'll need to unlock them if you want to play as the other new and returning characters, and there are many ways to do this. Each fighter can be unlocked in at least 3 different ways, by finding their captive spirit in World of Light, by completing a round in Classic Mode, or by playing Smash Matches, which include all modes that pitch you against a CPU or human opponent, excluding training. So how do you unlock characters the fastest? The answer can be a bit complicated, here's what we know. The World of Light is by far the slowest method of unlocking characters, as Ultimate Story Mode can last upwards of 20-30 to 30 hours, with some unlockable fighters hiding right at the finale. Unlocking characters by playing versus games is much faster, but still fairly tricky. It's not based on time played, KOs, or even damage taken or dealt. You also can't unlock fighters just by standing still in a match. In fact, if you only run around, or only jump, you still won't find new challengers. It seems like Ultimate actually tracks your button inputs and checks to see if you're actually playing, which is why standing still or just pressing one button won't do the trick. By pressing multiple buttons, or just button mashing, you can unlock a challenger in the span of a 2 minute match if you're pressing enough buttons. This also means that the more people who play with you, the more activity will be registered, and the more challengers will be lined up to fight, making it the fastest method if you have a bunch of friends. However, there seems to usually be a 5-10 to 10 minute cooldown before another challenger will appear, but you can reset this timer by simply closing the game and loading it up again. Do a quick one stock match and drop off the edge to trigger a waiting challenger. Note that this will only work if you have enough activity stored to have more fighters waiting to challenge you. If nobody appears, you'll know you need to play more matches first. The final method of unlocking characters comes from Classic Mode. Each fighter has their own unique set of themed battles, and at the end of every Classic Mode, you'll get a new challenger that's separate from the list of Versus Mode challengers. For example, be Classic Mode with Mario, and he'll get to unlock Sonic. But if you play as Link, you'll find King K. Rool waiting for you instead. If you're playing solo, the best strategy may involve quickly breezing through Classic Mode on zero intensity to complete the mode in a few minutes, while racking up button inputs that you can then use to unlock a challenger by playing a quick one-stock smash match to unlock a different fighter. Note that Classic Mode unlocks are not affected by the cooldown on the Versus Mode unlockable characters. You'll always face some after a completed Classic Mode regardless of how fast you play or continues used. For specific info on where to find fighters in the World of Light, and the order characters unlock in both Versus Mode and Classic Mode, be sure to check out our wiki guide. And for everything else on Smash Brothers, stick with IGN.